Well, another product we got to talk about is we can't ignore it, it's that soybean market. Um, we, we've been jumping from one worry to the next, uh, but uh, the market still seems to hang in there. I mean, we've gone from drought worries in South America just about, say, three weeks ago to, hey, maybe they, uh, <laughs> the heavy rains might delay the harvest uh, for Brazil's soybean crop. So isn't it funny and how fickle the market can be, but again, prices are hanging in there. Uh, if you want to go technical for a little bit here, for a second here, I don't want to glaze your eyes over, but we do have some dueling trend lines and they kind of cross, forming what I've said before is sometimes known as a flag formation, but we've got, uh, st we're still 60 cents uh, in March beans from the high tick. Uh, we've got a tight flag formation coming from that and we've got a nice bull trend line. So those types of things, uh, why do I bring them up? Well, I don't want to, I don't want to go too technical on you, but if we break out of one side or the other of that flag formation, that gives us a little bit of a good idea about short-term directions. Now, I'm going to separate what we were basically unchanged in the front. Nova was a little higher today, so I'll separate Nova out. And Nova beans are still trendlining too. I mean, they've got some decent chart movement action that uh, can't be ignored. Um, they're 40, you know, Nova beans is 40 cents from its high. Uh, and so they, no beans also has kind of a, a little bit of a pennant, you know, decent trend line some support. So keep an eye on that. We're going to get some short-term direction from the, the trend lines in both the front month and new crops, uh, no soybeans. So I think that that's going to be what I'm going to be watching. And I think some of the, most of the, the trading community will be too. So keep an eye on those things. Maybe that'll give us a little bit of a hint for short-term direction.